So we're looking at the question, what are multiples? You can think of multiples as an extension of a times table. So let's consider the two times table. So two times one is two, two times two, times two is four, two times three is six, two times four is eight, two times five is 10, two times six is 12, two times seven is 14, two times eight is 16, two times nine is 18, two times 10 is 20, two times 11 is 22, and two times 12 is 24. So we can keep on going. So multiples are continuous. But what is useful with uh, multiples is looking at patterns. So for example, we can see with the numbers here, two, four, six, eight. And then you can see here, zero. And then it goes back to two, four, six, eight. Zero, two, four. So you assume the next one's going to be something six, 26. So thinking of the two times tables, which numbers below could be a multiple of two? Well, we're thinking back to the previous slide, well, we can see, well, two is most certainly a multiple of two. Four, well, there's no six, oh, but there's an eight, which is a multiple. Uh, if we keep on going along, well, 24 is a multiple of two. Uh, 16 is a multiple of two. How do all be even numbers, as you can see? However, you'll notice, well, five, that is not a multiple of two. 15 is not a multiple of two. Nine is not a multiple of two. So let's consider the multiples of three. So again, we're thinking of our times tables. Well, it's also about just counting onwards. So we can see three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30, 33, 36. And again, I can continuously um, move on. Okay, but they're the multiples of 3. So I can keep on going um, as long as I like. So let's consider the multiples of 5. Start with 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, and 60. Again, it can keep on going. So if you were to say, well, how many, are, how many multiples are there of five? Well, it is an, um, an endless answer. So the answer would be, um, you can simply just keep on going. Consider the next slide. If you're looking at the multiples here, you can very clearly see multiples of five, it either has a five or a zero, five or a zero in every single multiple. So if you were to have, consider on the next slide, some different numbers all over the place. And if you were quickly investigating them, you'll quickly realize, well, I can see there's a five, there's a five, and there's a zero. So therefore, those three numbers are all multiples of five. These numbers here do not end in a five or a zero, therefore they're not considered multiples of five.